So we are here to the first stop on our Neshoba school system tour. So we are in Lancaster, Massachusetts. No, not Lancaster. That's like you say Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's Lancaster, Massachusetts. And I know that because I'm from Pennsylvania. So that's why. Anyway, all right. So there are th the Neshoba school system. Um, there are three towns. So there's Lancaster and they have their own elementary and middle school as does Bolton Elementary Middle School and Stowe has their own elementary and middle school and they all gather together once they get into ninth grade at the high school which is in Bolton. So we're just going to do a little tour of the three towns that make up Neshoba school system. So Lancaster is uh, the largest population wise um, which is roughly 8,100 people live here. It is number 19 on one of the best places to live, according to niche.com. It's a rural town. It is a farming town, which means if you buy a house here, you may have a neighbor that has a horse or chickens, potentially a rooster. Um, it, it depends on you know what you want and you can have anything you want on your own property too so according to MLS the last six months the average sale the average home price in Lancaster is 425,000 and the, according to niche.com the schools are rated a and a um, it's a lovely lovely town one of the drawbacks to Living in Lancaster is it is quite a commute if you're going heading to work in Boston. Um, however, one of the pros is you get a lot of land and um, the housing prices are lower than the other two towns than Bolton and Stowe because it is further out, and uh, you can get you can get a really nice um, house here for roughly four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. We're at the town center right now, and I'm standing in front of the uh, Veterans Memorial Park in Lancaster, and next to us is the library, uh, church, and the town hall. So the town center has, during non-COVID times, um, craft fairs and markets, uh, tree lighting, and all types of events in the town center here for the community to gather and uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery. Okay, so now we are in Bolton, Massachusetts, and the population in Bolton is roughly 5,500 people. Uh, it is rated number nine, the best places to live on niche.com. It is also a rural town, farming community, and um, the MLS shows that in the last six months, the average home price is six seventy three, six hundred seventy three thousand um, dollars. Schools are rated at A from Niche, and um, stand. We're sitting here at Bolton Bean, which is an awesome place to hang out. They have outdoor seating. Um, normally seating inside it is a little chilly to be sitting outside right now um, and I also want to share this um, local newspaper that the town of Bolton and Stowe share it's called the Stowe Bolton Independent and it just has things going on around town and local articles about people. And um, the best part of the newspaper every Wednesday after dinner, we sit and read the police blog, which is hysterical. I mean, it's mostly, you know, um, there's a, a squirrel in the road and people are very concerned about it. Um, a lot of ridiculousness, which is why 
it's such a great place to live because the community is very safe and people get in a dither about things that are really not that scary. So that's a little bit about Stowe. We will talk more in other videos, um, get a little more granular into the town itself. But this is just a little overview. It's a lovely place to live in the Metro West. We are in Stowe, our last um, part of the trip. Okay, so the population in Stowe is roughly 7,200 people. It's ranked number eight best places to live in niche on niche.com. Again, it's got the rural feel, so it also is a farming town. And the MLS, uh, the last six months, the average home price is $600,000. And um, like the other two schools, they're, they're rated A from niche.com. And it is, uh, Stowe is, happens to be where I live. And um, it's just, it's lovely. It's so different from uh, the city of Philadelphia where I'm from and, you know, the old town hall. And it's just very um, quaint. And there's lots of fun things to do. And there are trucks since this is on the busy road right here. The other, there's two, actually two town halls. This is the old town hall. And the newer town hall is a little more um, updated. However, it too is an old building. And the library, this is the center of town. So you have the, the older antique combs here and um, the library and um, just the central part of town.